Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today. This video will be focused on creating a new protocol, and we're also going to load some data from a single point screen and use that in creating readouts and calculated readouts. To begin, you can create a protocol in a couple of different fashions in CDD Vault. First, under the pull down menu is one choice, but over here as well, you can use the create new protocol button. Before you create the new protocol, I always like to look at the input file to make sure I have the information ready. So in this case, it's very simple. We just have inhibition and SEM, and we have replicate data across the different samples. That's important that we'll talk about soon. Now under the Create New Protocol wizard, simply give it a name, select the category, and provide a description if you'd like. Select the project and then create the protocol. On this screen, the protocol details. This is where we're going to add those readout definitions. So we're going to read in inhibition and SEM, and then also calculate the average inhibition and average SEM. So first, we start with reading in inhibition. It's a number type. You can see the different choices there with a unit of percent and provide a description if you'd like. We won't normalize the data in this case, but you have that option available to normalize within a uh, based on your research needs. Add the readout definition green button, and we'll make sure that it adds it to the list. Now we'll do the SEM. Again, another number type. RFU is the units in this case. And of course, a description you can add. No normalization here either. Next, we'll do the calculated readouts. Here we'll use the average inhibition. So we'll give it a name, unit. The formula editor is available. This question mark here provides some really helpful information, so please utilize that of the different types of terms available and as well as how to use the, the logic in the formula editor. But we'll start just by typing ahead average. That'll be auto-selected in yellow. And the right, excuse me, the left bracket will show you all the different readouts available. You note that we have two options here, the inhibition and SEM, the two that we read in earlier. This is actually an important feature of the formula editor is that this reads not only across this particular readout, uh, but across all projects and all runs. So you can do some really great uh, calculations based on your research needs. One very powerful one is the selectivity score, looking at it across multiple runs, for example. Here, we're going to select the default of aggregation for batch and run. You do have multiple choices available for the aggregation if you wanted an average score, let's say, for an entire molecule, uh, a, a single score, as well as if you wanted to look at multiple averages based on the batches that are used. Again, the description is available. Click Add to uh, add it to your readout definitions. Repeat the operation for SEM. Select the correct option, and add. Once we get done editing, we're set to go. There is some ava other available options for hit conditions and control layout, which we won't use in this video, but we'll discuss at a later time in other videos. So now we're all set. Let's go to the import data option, load that CSV file into our correct project, The default of Add Readouts is selected. We'll need to navigate to our Sample ID column under the Batch Field section and apply. And of course, reading in that inhibition value. Now note here, we well, those are auto-filled in, but we haven't had actually a run date specified. So this wizard will allow us to create that. Generally speaking, you'd want to use the date of when the, the experiment was run, uh, provide a lab and a person who did the experiment and provide the conditions. In this case, we just use the default. Uh, again, reading in SEM for the same run date, and apply, and process the file. After the quality assurance step of screen will appear, after it reads everything in, you'll see we have 90 records. All looks as we'd expect. We can commit the data import. And once we're done, explore what was actually read in. And you can see right away that the average inhibition and average SEM were calculated for each structure. 
I like to customize the report a little bit, show the different uh, batch names, as well as the inhibition and SEM values of each one of the replicate data points. Once I hit update, you see that I now can visualize that information for the molecule, look at each one of the different data points available to me, as well as those averages. Thank you for viewing the video today.